There is a huge debate still happening in the marketing space right now, and that is, do we focus on websites or sales funnels to grow our business? And there are people that advocate for both sides and they feel really strong in their position. And I personally sit somewhere in the middle and I believe I have the perfect solution and answer to this question backed by millions of dollars in revenue online. And I'm not only gonna reveal that to you, but I'm also gonna share it with you right here on the screen later in this video. But before we get to that, let me first explain the benefits of a website and the benefits of a sales funnel so we understand what it is that we're working with here. A website traditionally, right, is a page where there is no specific next step. There's nothing that you're necessarily asking them to do. You have just created a place, a home, for your brand and for your business. So maybe you have a navigation bar at the top and maybe that points to different pages. Maybe you've got the home page, a contact us page, an about me page, maybe success stories, uh, you know, and, and something else. And then maybe you have like a nice big headshot of what you're about, maybe a headline that says, you know, what you do. And maybe you've got some further stuff down here. You've got some social media buttons. You've got some uh, about me information down here as well. That's typically a website. It's a place where someone can come and get to know you, get to know your brand, understand what you're about, and maybe they'll make a decision to become a customer or a client at some point in time. But there's nothing necessarily pulling them in that direction and giving them a very clear path to do so. There are pros and cons with this, and we'll get to that in a second. A sales funnel, on the other hand, is not like a website. A sales funnel, as I'm sure you're aware, is a series of pages that is leading one to a final result, which is likely to sign up to a product or a service that you have. Maybe there's a traffic strategy here. Maybe then we point that to some sort of lead magnet. Maybe then the next step is a webinar or some kind of conversion mechanism, and then we lead them to make a purchase. Now, the benefit of a sales process like this is that there isn't a bunch of information like we do have on a website. There's not lots of different things that the prospect could do. It's a very clear next step. We take them from a traffic platform. We take them to our uh, opt-in page where there is nothing else to do on that page but give us their name and email perhaps to uh, access this free gift. And then on the next page, it's thanking them for that free gift and telling them the next step, which is perhaps to register for the webinar. If they register for a webinar, the next step is to attend it. If they attend it, the next step is to book a call. And if they book a call with you, perhaps the next step is to become a client. So that's the main difference between a website and a sales funnel. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of both of them. Let's start with websites. It's really good for positioning, and branding. It's going to make you look like a bigger company, that you've got more going on. You're going to perhaps come across more trustworthy. There's the ability to have those testimonials listed right there on the website alongside your other information. So people are going to get a really good holistic view at what you are about with your company, such that they wouldn't get in a sales funnel, because in a sales funnel, it's only one clear thing you're trying to get their attention for. So branding really good for websites. Wait, no, what I meant to say was websites are good for branding. Secondly, it works really well as an incubator, meaning that if someone is thinking about becoming a customer or a client and they're not sure, they go to your website, they have a look around, and, and the more they click around, the more they look at, the more the trust is building, and perhaps they'll make the decision to pull a trigger and become a client. The disadvantage with websites, and there's only really one, but it's a big one, is that there is no direct next step they're gonna take. And that means we can't drive our traffic efforts to a website. If we're running Facebook ads or YouTube ads or Google ads or TikTok ads, we are spending our money to drive that traffic. So we need to squeeze that traffic like a lemon. We need to get every benefit out of it that we possibly can. And typically what will happen if we send traffic to a website is that yes, they'll have a nice experience, they'll look around, they'll think this looks great, but there was no next step and so they end up leaving. So that would actually be wasted advertising dollars. So a website is good to sit there on the internet, be a presence, maybe people find it organically and naturally, but we wouldn't point our traffic efforts to it. So what about sales funnels? Well, let's start with the benefits. Firstly, we can drive traffic to a sales funnel because of the nature that we're leading someone down a path that's ending up at a purchase, a very clear next step. So we've just got to make sure that our numbers are working, meaning we're getting a positive 
ROI. We're spending a bit of money on some advertising and we're making sure we make more out the other end. With a sales funnel, we can also tweak the process all the way through. If we're not profitable on our first attempt, we can look at these series of pages and see which is the bottleneck and start to tweak it, refine it, change it, change the messaging and improve the performance of that sales funnel. Also, the starting point of a sales funnel is typically a lead generation strategy. We're gonna be asking for someone's name and email address, that's gonna be building our list. Now you could argue that on a website we could still have some lead generation things and you would be correct, but we're not gonna get the type of conversion rates that we would on a single page that has nothing else to do but opt-in. Whereas on a website, even if you have an opt-in form there somewhere, there's so many other distractions, you're never gonna beat the conversions that you get over here. So with a sales funnel, we can be building a list, and now we have a, a list of people that we can follow up with for weeks, months, even years to come, and continue to produce more revenue for the business. Another benefit with sales funnels is that we can scale the business quite aggressively with a sales funnel that's performing really, really well. We can't really scale a website. Right? If we're not actively driving traffic to it, then we're just waiting for people to find us and hear about us and go and explore what we've got. But if we want an extra 10,000 visitors to the website tomorrow, we probably couldn't do it. Whereas with a sales funnel, we could. So it's infinitely scalable as long as your numbers are working. So then what's the disadvantage? Well, there's only really one again, and it also is a big one. The main disadvantage with the sales funnel is that you don't have that experience of branding. We are only focusing on a lead magnet. And the next step is only talking about a webinar. And yes, of course, you can tell stories and let them get to know you in the webinar, but that's later on in the process. The very front end, the first point of contact, they're not gonna get all this information about you and they're not gonna get the, to build that know, like, and trust as fast as it could happen if they visited your website. So what's the answer? Do we focus on websites or do we focus on sales funnels? Particularly if you're pretty new to business, you're new to this industry and you're trying to find the best starting point. Well, the answer is simple, both. You should have and you should implement both of these in your business. You should have a website that positions you correctly as an authority, elevates your status, but we're not driving active traffic to that. What we need then is a sales funnel that's drumming up the business, that's getting people into our world. And then we need to have these two, your website and your sales funnels, built on the same platform and have them fully integrated. There's a platform called Funneler that I have built my website and my sales funnels on. And because it's all in one place, my sales funnels come from ad clients clients.com forward slash whatever that particular funnel page is and adclients.com points to my main website and my homepage. So I'll have people that find my funnels, but then hear this name ad clients, see the root domain, come over and check it out. So the more I scale my funnels, the more I have what we call trickle traffic, trickle traffic coming over to my website and seeing what we're about and getting to know us as a company, but I've not spent my money to achieve that. So what I'll do is I'll show you right now how I brought these two things together. So here you can see adclients.com. This is my main website my main homepage where people can come and explore, see what we're about. They can go and click on the about page. They can hear about our programs. They can hear about our success stories and all the stuff that we've you know, got going on. They can scroll down. We've got information on our different social media accounts and things like this. However, notice that adclients.com is obviously the name and we've got things like this. These are our lead magnets. This is one of our lead magnets, adclients.com forward slash 60. This is a page that we would drive traffic to, but some people will go, huh, I wonder what adclients.com is all about. Click through and check us out. We've also blended these two things together because we've built them on the same platform. We have a bunch of benefits and it's Funneler that allows us to do this. It's an incredible piece of software. If we click on learn more here, they're gonna come over to one of our funnel pages. And we've got this built on another website called the Future of Webinars, which is also built on Funneler so that we can point the root domain of that, the, the Future of Webinars, to another brand, another company that we have. And as you can see, we've got, our, uh, we've got a sales page for one of our virtual events. So people come to the home page, then they might click through, they'll find our sales pages, they'll find our sales funnels. And so the two are playing really, really nicely together. Also, we're bringing these two together even after the point of sale, meaning that somebody becomes 
uh, a customer or a client for us anywhere in our company, we make sure that the programs that they get access to, the login details that they have, is not on a different domain name, not lost somewhere in the internet, but instead they can come here, they can click on existing member, and that will take them to a page where they can log in. And every single one of our customers and our clients who purchase any of our programs will have one and only one login, and they can always come back to adclients.com and sign in from one simple page to get access to everything. That's just a snapshot of some of the ways that we're using this. This goes so much deeper. If you wanna explore Funneler, it really is a great piece of kit, and there'll be a link in the description box in the top comment. There's loads of things you can do like this. It's absolutely incredible. But this is just us scratching the surface, and I wanted you to see how we are bringing websites and sales funnels together, and I think it's a match made in heaven. So now you know you do need a sales funnel to start with. Maybe you're wondering which one you should be using. Well, I've got three right here that you should absolutely avoid and the answer for the one that you should be focusing on. So go ahead and check that video out. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up on this video, show us some love, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in a future video.